Well, thank you for making it through to the end. Uh, we hope you've had a blessed time with God through our ministry today. We miss you. We look forward to the day when we can meet together face to face. We will let you know how things go with that. Um, so keep your eye on our Facebook pages. Uh, if you have anything you want to talk about, yeah, there's church chat tomorrow. And if you don't want to come to church chat, but you want to chat privately, just get in touch with one of us. We're all here for you. So be blessed. Thank you again. And a, a little reading and a blessing from me now. We've looked at the power of God and what difference it makes to our lives. And one thing it should, one difference it should make is it should encourage us to pray because Paul saw it as an encouragement to pray. And we're going to read from Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 to 21. Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 to 21. Let's hear God's word one final time. For this reason I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. <laughs>